Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are live. Oh, if you're watching this, this is a pre-live, but this is going to be my first time playing the the first Descent. I don't know anything about this game. I saw some footage of it. I heard it was pretty good. It's free to play, so I'm willing to, you know, kind of do a live stream on it, give it a try, give out my thoughts about it, talk about it and stuff, and see what we can get ourselves into. All right, so we got it in English. That's fine. We'll go next. Um, display. Mm, don't want it like that. I think, like, honestly, I probably put it at three. Put at four. I put the contrast at six. That should be fine. X. No, no, the controls are a little weird. But okay. Alright, yes, we set the terms and conditions, blah, blah, blah. Yes. Let's start this game. Damn, we gotta wait for appreciator? God damn. Alright. I might have to change the um uh, the setting for like the volume and stuff like that. For my headset. Put in this about like fifty. Might have to change the the master volume in this game. Man, but yeah, man, shoo, shoo. history is in the making, man. I just saw that video that uh, Trump was uh, getting shot. That shit was crazy, man. I tell you one thing, that video right there, wherever you at in history, I'm in my house. I know where I was at. I was in my house watching my, uh, you know, like doing a few things on my video, and then I scrolled through on YouTube, took a break, and I saw that clip. What happened down there? Bro, Trump won that, bro. So iconic. Put his hands up and say, fight, fight. And then Biden, he ain't getting shot. He ain't getting killed. He ain't got, there's like no threats against him. Even though like MAGA people don't like, you know, Biden and stuff like that. You don't see that happening. So now I guess the tables has turns. Like now Trump is being threatened and then Biden's team ain't, you know, they ain't being threatened. So I'll tell you one thing, man. Trump literally got my vote for real in 2024. It's over. That Biden might have, I, I I might as well just call Biden up right now at the White House that Biden, it's just time for you to pack up your bags and head to the retirement home. You're done. It's over. Okay? You're once upon a dream. You're losing your cautious. You're losing your mind. And you got all of these whack ass people running in that office it's time to kick all those people out for real i'm getting tired of it that's just my this is my thing but again each their own i saw okay. everything the connection between two worlds about a century ago humans were defeated by the vulgus invaders from the other world then came the colossi who destroyed everything. <clears throat> Humans resisted until they could no longer. Then they found hope. They were gifted the forgotten ancestor's power. Ah, damn. Finally, they could fight with newfound strength. But another threat had emerged. Damn, I'm gonna have to lower down my headset, bro. Focus. Shit, man, they're playing this like His a goddamn movie. Are driving both worlds to the brink they got that movie volume in the movie theaters. Like, goddamn. We All must right. fight back. With the ancestors' power bestowed upon us. Descendant, can you hear me? 
I've been waiting for you. According to the investigative corps, the Ironheart is in the ruins. The assignment is simple. Bunny will collect it, while one of you protects her. So, who is going to take this on? Well, before we do anything... Oh shit, man. I can't even go stop on the menu. Alright. Alright, so we got this. Him. Or this dude. Alright. In my heart of hearts, in my gut is feeling, I'm always gonna pick a female. Seems like my kind of job. Wouldn't it be easier if I just froze everything? Mm-hmm. Yeah. like that <laughs> at least this is better looking women than the fucking <laughs> these woke ass garbage games that we've been seeing lately like concord <laughs> oh that shit was horrible oh my god mm. hopefully i can get to the point where i can just pause it so i can change the uh either this is the last spot let's get this over with the architect ruins it took so many soldiers to find this place please let the iron heart be in here somewhere i hope it is too bunny i'd like to give albion some good news finding the iron heart is important but so is retrieving it the Volkus also have their sights set on these ruins eh, don't worry about that alpha Compared to me, the Volgus are as slow as turtles. I'll freeze anything coming after us. You should go first, Bunny. <laughs> Good to know you have my back. So, do you know what the heart looks like? All right, wait. I guess we'll know it when we see it. All right. Um, Come on, hurry up. We're, we're options. Let's go to this play. Just want to see this first. That windows. Probably put the sharpness up to two. I can put out the volume a little bit now. It's not like blasted in my ears. It was a little bit too loud. Put the sound effects a little bit, but the voice one is a little bit down. About like a six and a five. Play audio background. Battle voice. We'll put that music about three. And sound effects. Put that about a six. 
I'll leave that at a five. Speaker volume, mic volume, that's fine. Okay, gameplay. Fight on game. Turn that off. Weapon damage detail on Sprint, yep. Team control. Blur off. That's about high. Sounds about good. Ray tracing off. Good. You know, we'll just turn it off. We'll play it natively. Yeah, that's super good. Controls. Aim assist function off. I want no aim assist. The menu is so weird. They need to like just like if I want to go into the menu, just let me click the goddamn button. I hate when when menu system does that dumb shit. Let me see. Gameplay was it? You got mouse and keyboard, but yet you don't even have it for controller. At least you could have put that. Come on, bro. So annoying. Alright, it should be alright. Let's see. I'll take the lead. Gotcha. Whoa! What the heck? What's going on? All operatives report. We almost died. I'm okay, by the way. Roger that. Resume operation. Our path's been cut off. We better find a way around. Bunny, be careful. 
I have a bad feeling about this. Damn it! The Vulgus! What? I'll come help! Don't worry about me. I'll take care of this. Trying to see how it feels, and I don't like it like that. Need to have it a tad bit slower. If it's on 50, I put it at 25. Okay, so you could do you could too. I'm just saying. Okay, good. All right, so they could change it. Okay, good. All right. Jump A, roll over B, X to reload, change weapon is Y. That's fine. Uh. Grapple hook, stub attack, aim, exclusive combine buttons. Hmm. Hmm. LB, LX. It's a little bit too dark. Let me go brighten it up a little bit. Let's just leave it on default. Hmm. It seems a little better. Glad you're safe. I won't die on you. Don't worry. No need to brag. Come on, let's keep going. Whoa. What is all this? <clears throat> huh, there's no way through. This is the only place left. There has to be something here. A hidden space. Hey, look, it's Cortana. It's the Iron Heart. <laughs> Oh, that's the Iron Heart. Oh. Cover me. Good. So this is the Iron Heart. We can close the dimensional wall with this, right? 
And when we have all three of them, we can stop the Colossi and the Volgus? How awesome is that? But does something feel weird to you? Don't touch it. it uh oh, like cliche. Cliche clutch. What? <laughs> oh man, yo. You touch it, now you're in the tutorial section now? Wow. If you touch the Iron Heart, it takes you into the tutorial section. Could have done this in the game, but okay. So rope it everywhere, you know what I'm saying? Don't want to die by just like jumping up and down, but oh, that's a cute little tutorial section. Appreciate it. You know, you could have put some goons too on the way. Could have done that. Could have done that, but. They said, no, nah, it's free to play. Let's not give them too much work. <laughs> so now we're entering into this pillar. Interesting. It's all a once upon a dream ago In a distant land Where nothing made sense You're finally here The first descendants Come my child This is a space where your unconscious takes physical form I have been waiting for you since the beginning I am your guide. I was created to guide the descendants to the Iron Heart. Hmm. You look familiar. This is the connection procedure, descendant. Are you? Process to access your consciousness. She almost looked like Aloy's cousin in that figurine. We both need the Iron Heart. I have a feeling about I that. We're gonna have some fun now. Oh, these are some really nasty motherfuckers. I seriously have no idea what's going on. Target secured. I'm moving out. You need to stay alive. We have a lot to talk about. Understood. Be careful. I could have done that myself. 
Of course, the cutscene always got to do it for me. Could have just shot some bad guys as they try to escape. Nah. They said they said it's too much work for a casual to do, so they said, nah, let's just do a cutscene, bro. Ah, modern day video games. Can't get enough of it. Focus attacked. Can't get enough of the casuals. Less and less work to play. I have synchronized with your consciousness. Focus on the heart. It must not be captured. Grapple. Oh, no. Damn. Wait, what the fuck? Damn, you really gotta aim on the edge of that. Alright. Whoop. Whoop. Yo, this, like, roll is, like, so crazy-ass roll. Like, holy shit. They could at least tone down the roll a little bit, bro. Like, tone it down just a tab. Like, that roll, look at this. The roll, the same roll is crazy. Like, bro, I almost can literally just roll off of this fucking cliff. Like, dead ass. Oh my god. Punches that? Oh man, they fucked up that. All right, you know what? That that's something I could change because who sat there and said, "Yo, punches like this." Like melee is both of these buttons. Like it's stupid. Melee is supposed to be like the right the right trigger of this shit. I might have to put the fucking controller up for this. Hold on. Hold on for a minute. Let me just put the controller up for this. Alright. I don't know if you could see that, but you could. Alright, so I put the controller up. But you see, like, the the button for, for melee should be this, not this. So that's, like, so fucking weird. Oh man. Damn, bro. They still don't. We're in 2024. They still can't even get these controllers right. Let me see. We're going to change that. That's what we're going to change. Sprint is this. We want. Tell me I could change it. Yes. This one. And then we'll do this one like this. That's fine. See, that makes more sense. And honestly, I don't even think like that's even enough. Change tracking target. Scan will be like that. Yeah, scan is fine. Shit was fucking crazy. Alright. See, now that's a lot better. Because then when you roll, I can just like, boom, hit somebody. And then when I sprint, roll, you know, like, sprint, roll, bam, I can hit somebody quick. Fucking shit was crazy. Fucking sad there. See, a scan should be like that. You know, that makes more sense. Come on, people. Let's let's know how to make a game in 2024, man. Even for a free-to-play, you gotta start learning how to set up controllers, right? That shit was crazy. 
See, if that was a sub attack, bro, I couldn't even do that. It'd be stupid. Cause you see how the video is like, you see how he got to stop right there? Like, bro. Yeah, watch this. That's a weak ass attack. I'm not gonna like snub these people for real. Yeah, you gotta have like sprint. I think what they need to do, they. If they're gonna make this a free to play, they need to tweak this shit. Like they need to make the movement and the jump and the roll, like the roll, to be a lot less farther away. It needs to be a little bit more closer, and make the movement a tad bit slower, just a little bit, not a lot. I think those few little tweaks is just gonna make the game a lot more better. You are under so the this this roll distance is it's like what? test your limits. What the? What kind of power is this? This is your true form. talking about mm. wait that's all the only two weapons I have how do I get the other weapon oh okay so all right. I like this one this one I can like aim down like first person shooter I wish this was- I wish this had first person. I would like it more better if it was first person. Not a big third person fan. Oop. Oh, fuck. Hmm. Oh, okay, we're full. Good. It's been a while since your last report. Have you regrouped with Bunny? I need confirmation. Noted. I'm at the rendezvous point. Bunny, where are you? Bunny, respond. Bitch, why the fuck are you standing there, bro? Start shooting. <laughs> there we go. God damn. lost the package is lost I repeat the package has been lost retrieving bunny we gotta get the fuck up out of here god damn it get up I'm surprised she ain't dead 
touch the heart. It's triggered some kind of anomaly. my seat. God damn, you want me to fight that fucking big ass thing? Wow. So you want me to crawl on him? Take cover! The big fucker is here! Ooh, 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 ooh. Got him! One fucker down! Ooh, 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 shit! Shit, shit, shit. Shit, shit. Saved the day. That was a really easy boss fight. I didn't felt that much engaged. It was like, okay, yeah. Huh. Coulda, coulda slept Alpha. behind the, the behind the pillars stolen. and took a nap. The operation failed. Benny, don't worry about it. We got, we will, we'll get him next time. After everything we've gone through to find that Iron Heart, if we don't find the other two Iron Hearts before he does, the dimensional wall will be in danger. Don't lose hope, HQ. We've made contact with a guide. It's going to help us. Yeah, well, it didn't help that much when, when that fucking shit got, you know, fuck blue. All right, so let's see what kind of... Wait, damn, preparing shader? God damn, bro, is that 87% shit from that whole tutorial still ain't finished? The fuck? I thought shaders was already been done. Damn, they gotta load another shaders? Fuck me. This is crazy. Hmm. Does it got that Starfield Destiny vibe? I can feel it. Like it like the art direction and this kind of stuff, like yo, it got that Starfield little bit of Destiny vibe. At least this gameplay is is much more better than Destiny. I don't want to play Destiny. Destiny is like straight up garbage. All those people that left is not the same Destiny anymore. This is actually is is it's a little better, but it's not it's not perfect. It still needs some work though. Descendant, follow my voice. Oh wow! I need your help. Humanity requires my help. I can find the Iron Heart. Enzo. They got a polar bear? Holy fuck. Voice? 
Yeah, I heard it too. Holy but shit, that's a polar I bear? To explain the situation to God damn. Hell. You should go and get treated. God damn, what? you got a polar bear? Can't Alpha hear the guide's voice? I don't hear anything at God all. God damn. It seems to only be linked to active descendants. Now, are there any other descendants who have had contact with the guide? Okay, I'm guessing we're at the hub. Aside from Jeremy, all descendants have reported connecting with the guide. And the descendant who first made contact with the Iron Heart will be arriving at HQ shortly. When it comes to the guide, we have He's to on PlayStation. All possibilities. Make sure you familiarize yourself with everything. Mm -hmm. Shit, I need to look around here, motherfucker. What the hell? Ready to undertake a void intercept battle assignment. I don't know. I'm not sure about that, but let's try to see where the fuck we're at. Damn, this definitely got that destiny, but this is like destiny, but it looks so much better than like I remember when the first Destiny came out, it was like, okay, this is pretty cool and shit. But this right here looks Ten times better than fucking Destiny. That's for damn sure, bro. Hold on, let's look around for some new shit. <laughs> All right, that's that. Hello, descendant. What can I do for you? Mm. Oh, you don't got nothing for me. Damn. What's this? Oh, okay, so they got mission maps and shit. All right. Cool. Might as well look around, you know what I'm saying? Mastery, rank up. I guess everybody's here from the tutorial. Oh, wait, what? Let's look down here. Oh, shit, you got a round table? What's up? Got a question about the operation? Mm, no, sir. Damn, I'll tell you one thing. This shit looks a hell of a lot better than Destiny. I'll tell you that. Destiny 2? Man, bro. E even if Destiny came out with a Destiny 3, you could throw that in the trash can. I think First Descendant got this. First Descendant definitely got I'm this. I'm pretty busy, but if it's for you, I can make time. Damn, man. Characters look well done. I'm liking this so far. What is it now? I'm going to stop by Grandel after my shift and buy some Inger cookies. It's run by the family of the royal confectioner who survived the apocalypse. How That's crazy. This? Bunny, don't worry, man. We'll, we'll, we'll get him next time. Yeah, damn, this looks pretty cool. Yeah, this def this definitely put fucking Destiny 2 in the trash can. It definitely do. It'd be crazy like if they had some quarter it, 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 it. Oh, okay, what's this? If you need something for battle, you won't find anyone better. Yeah, I got that destiny. Okay, I got the workbench like usual. Would you like to use the laboratory? Mm. 
Magisters are probably humanity's real hope, don't you think? Research requests, okay. You know me, I'm just exploring around. Hey there, what can I help you with? Okay, so this is, okay, enhancements and stuff. Cool, well, all right. All right, um, is there like a place to fucking change or something or I could just change it on the fly? Oh, okay, so this is inventory. All right, let's see. We can go. Oh man, they got a battle pass, bro. Uh, <laughs> upgrade to premium battle pass, season whatever. I'm not a battle pass fan. Never will be. And let's see. Skin. They could have at least, like, gave us, like, at least, like, something, you know? They just gave us zero. Deserves a F. You can't even decorate your fucking character. Body skin, can you at least change the fucking color? Nope. Here's a whole bunch of outfits. Like, it's cool and shit, right? What the fuck is that? Come on, bro. You think I'm gonna be wearing that type of garbage? No way! Weapon skin, spawn... Alright, well, got a little bit of a gift. Nothing about that one. Tabs, name card. Eve skin. Emotes. <sighs> it deserves an F. Because, like, for real, they could at least, like, if it, if you go to put a free to play, at least put at least somewhat some customization to make our characters unique off the bat. If you're not gonna fucking do that, like at least put the basic stuff, the default stuff. Like I could change the character skin, I can have a few hair customs, you know, like whatever, and then add in the battle pass, you know. Like, why the fuck are you gonna put a free to play fucking game without no defaults, like? Changing character skin color, hair color, style, this. Like, you can't do shit. Like, look at this. I can't even... I can't even change anything. Like, what? There's only one attachment? So I can put a cuddly bear in the back. Like, really? Come on, man. This is ridiculous. They really have me putting a fucking cuddly bear in the back. Come on, man. Panda. Oh my god. Not feeling it whatsoever. Chest attachments. This is it? That's what you put for chess? Like, come on, man. Makeup. Wow, you really lock out some of this shit behind there. Face, body, like, there's just... Fucking, you want me to put a bear behind my shit? 
Yeah. Uh, definitely deserve an F for that. Whoever is the developer of the first Descendant, look, I appreciate the graphics and the way how it looks. It looks so much better than Destiny. That's for damn sure. But if you're going to make a free to play game, at least put some default shit from the beginning. Like when we pick a character, whether it's a male or a female, like let us like choose some like outfits we could take off, put on. To make her at least somewhat unique to my own before I start earning like other stuff to like put in our shit. That's just right there is just unacceptable. Un fucking acceptable. Unacceptable. It really is unacceptable for real. Yeah. Wanna feel a chill? No, I don't wanna see that. Okay, let's see what we can do. Let's go meet our whatever. I gotta say, it looks cool though. Hold on, let me still look over here. Oh, this looks sick. I wish there was more floors to explore, yo. Like, they built all of this shit, but they don't like... You know what I wish they had? I wish they had, like, in the hub section, like, at least, like, I have, like, my own room or something like that. I can, like, store all my shit in there. Decorations, my weapons, I can, like, loot some stuff. Like, I wish it was like that. You know? Like, all of this shit is fucking cool, but it's just, like, bro. Like, it's so many missed opportunities. They could have, like, at least, like, added, like, here, like... Here's some rooms, like each room, like, you know, whatever. And I can say, oh, my room is over here. And I can, like, you know, whatever, you know, right? Something, you know, something like that. Hmm. All right, well, let's start this mission because I don't know. Yeah, they d the world itself is pretty good. Stories, okay. I I gotta still play this game, but customization deserve a fucking F. I don't know who over there decided to do that, but they deserve an F. But... The matter what, the Iron Heart. To those descendants who have connected to me. Thank you for answering my call. Huh, you're welcome. This is Albion, the last bastion of humanity. You mean... Many lives have been laid before just the Iron a white ghost. I wish to help humanity. My system can locate the Iron Heart. However, my functions were damaged after I was separated from it. If I can access the data left by my creators, the ancestors, I should be able to find a way to restore my system. Okay. I appeal to all descendants who can hear my voice. Please help me to restore my system. Take me to the ancestors' facility. A system that can find the Ironheart? What is it exactly? Alpha, it looks like the guide is speaking to another descendant nearby. I've uploaded the details of the conversation to the command console. Hmm. Based on this, the guide seems to be more AI than spiritual being. Any descendant who's been contacted by the guide, please report to HQ immediately. Nell, as a non-descendant, how do you feel about this phenomenon? I believe it holds sufficient strategic value to be of interest. There 
isn't much time. We have to hurry. Hmm? I didn't expect you to be speaking to the guide. I thought you were headed straight to HQ. Well, first off, well done on the mission. It was a difficult one. Corel showing up in person, even I was concerned. Since your operation, a strange phenomenon has affected descendants. When you said there was hope, were you talking about the guide? To be honest, I suspect that the guide is either a new vulgus weapon or a new enemy. It's clever claiming to be able to find the Iron Heart for us. Who wouldn't want to believe that, if they're desperate enough? I miss my family a lot. That is how traps are laid. No Everything has a price. My staff officers, however, seem to have a different opinion. Enzo and Nell have proposed verifying the guide's credibility by fulfilling her requests. And the truth is, we currently lack any leads on the Ironheart. Enzo and Nell have determined that if the Guide can close the gaps in our knowledge, it will be worth it. Luckily, there is an Ancestor's facility within the territory we occupy. We plan on making contact with the Guide there. Descendant, this is your next mission. I would like you and Bunny to bring the Guide to the Ancestor's facility in Kingston. Deploying the Descendants who have been in closest contact with the Ironheart is our best bet. <clears throat> Bunny? I know you're recovering from your injuries, but I'm sure you understand the importance of this. I'll order the investigative right. corps to provide support. I hope we see some results, whatever the outcome may be. Bunny, no need to equip okay. a new suit before you leave. I've already notified the ordnance department. The new suit? Uh, it won't be taken out of my pay, right? It will be deducted from your pay, naturally. Ah, damn it. Okay, so I'm gonna have a new assignment. All right. Let me see over here. I want to see. Okay, let's hear it. What is it that you need? All right. Okay. Oh, cool. Time to begin this little mission. Gotta say, at least it's a hell of a lot better than Welcome. Destiny. What the fuck? Please, do not be alarmed. My appearance has been configured to facilitate communication. I am linked to the Arcade of Descendants. Oh shit, she's better than an Aloy. I can appear. Ah damn, Aloy. Wherever you may be. You got more mature, more finer. But I am incomplete. At present, only you, Descendant, can see or hear me. Oh really? Well, I need you to help me fully restore my system. Only then can I help humanity. Ah, there you are. <laughs> wow. She just disappeared on me. Wow. I'm Marcus from the Investigative Corps. I have orders from HQ to escort you, Descendant. This way, please. Okay. Let me just make sure. Weapons reloaded. We're good. Okay. I think we're gonna have to go with this one. Ah, welcome. 
Thank you for all your hard work during the operation to retrieve the Ironheart. The results of that operation were disappointing, but we'll keep looking for other ruins. The Investigative Corps will always support the Descendants. Speaking of which, we heard you're heading to the Ancestors yeah, facility laggy. in this area. The facility was once used as a research center by the Magisters, before it was abandoned. I never thought we'd be going back there again. It's been deserted for a long time. Anyway, let me take you to the facility. Sit tight. Security Corps, this is Lieutenant Marcus from the Investigative Corps. We have orders from HQ to open the gate to the Ancestors facility. <clears throat> Security Corps, do you copy? This is Lieutenant Marcus from the Just investigative corps. Just putting my corps. seat up a little What's bit. What's going on? Well, they sound like they're in trouble. This is Security Corps. We're under attack from the Vulcans. We need support. Security Corps, respond. Security Corps. Damn it. Descendant, it looks like the Vulgus have arrived. Comms are already down. Use the emergency communicator to contact HQ while I try to get a handle on the situation. All right, Roger that. Descendant, be careful. All the signals are being detected from inside the communication center. Just looking around. Too easy to deal with. Try to get me a higher ground. Damn, bro, you can't really. Oh, come on, man. You can't. You can't even go up here. Seriously? Are you fucking kidding me, developers? I can't even get higher ground? Oh, come on, bro. That is embarrassing. You could at least give me some fucking higher ground. Shit. Always a.
Oh shit. Seven. All networks within Kingston are currently down. And the emergency communicator has also been taken out. This is the first time they've launched such a large-scale attack. You must reactivate the communications repeater and secure... In order to reach the communications repeater, we need to secure this base first. They'll be attacking from all sides using their assault ship and transmission devices. See with caution. Huh? I just got here. What's going on? Is Kingston being invaded? You're here, buddy. Good. Kingston's entire network has been knocked out by the Vulcan's attack. What? How are we going to communicate? You guys can't use the Aceves. We can manage short distance communications, but not long distance. We need the emergency communicator back online. Ah, so that's why HQ has been so quiet. I'll check on the other outposts. Where am I going? Go to the base near the theater ruins. You got it. Headed there now. Yes, I miss all those shots, but don't worry. I'll get better. Time to take the high ground, you take the low road. Come on. Wow. Wow. Ah! All gates have been blocked. And it looks like we've lost all our soldiers. Damn it. Those bastards. I'll try to go around. I'll leave you to it. Take the high Join ground, the I take the low road. Your dish by the by the bar. Oh, that's so cool. Not right now, I don't care. Alright, let's go. Find the communication repeater in this building. Once it's reactivated, we can use the last of the remaining communicators. Yeah, they definitely need to patch something like that. Wait, is it up here? Wow. It really is up here. Oh, okay. Damn it. The Vulcan's forces have managed to infiltrate this far in. Protect the repeater until it's fully reactivated. Great. Oh, just great. Now I don't even know where they're gonna be coming from. There you go. 
fuck are your shots coming from? Enemy commander spotted. If we take him out, the rest will give up and retreat. Where? Why I'm good at first person shooters. There we go. That's it. That hits the spot. Where do you guys are going? I didn't want you here. Keep going. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. All right. Time to keep moving. Shall we? Oh, must go this way. There's nothing here. Good. That's how you do it. Wow. Wanna shot for me? Uh, 
the server is done. There we go. Run away, you fucking buggers! Oh, I'm sick of this shit. Do I just throw take a picnic? got here seems like this is more bloody cannabis wow bunny you're that excited wow look at you you're so excited you're so excited you're so excited, me too, let's go. You're excited too. All clear. Look at that, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> and making things is my wheelhouse. Go on, what do you need? Mm. Wow, I can't even do shit. Okay, so we got something in my inventory. Alright, so now we can um, make and switch weapons. I'm not sure. One. Alright, let's see what we can get today. Hmm. See, assault rifles, tracer rifles, scout rifles, sniper rifles. Ooh, we got sniper rifles. Oh, me likey. No rocket launchers. None of that. We got a handgun. Oh, we got a shotgun. Hand cannon. We don't even got a handgun. Oh, we got one little measly handgun. God damn! You really, you really making my job a lot harder. All right, so let's go see. First thing first is always going to be an assault rifle. That's what we need the most. Click on the first one for that. And 
No, we don't want module for that. We can actually fucking junk this shit if we want. Register attachment items. Disintegrate as a junk. Tracers. Yeah, fifty three. Attack is Do want this? As a scout rifle. I wonder should I even try to get a sniper rifle? Might as well put that on there too. Mark this as junk. Rocket launchers, scout rifles. No, we don't want to sell this as junk. We want this as junk. That is already a junk. Sniper rifle is a junk. Machine gun. We don't even got a machine gun. We don't wait. Oh, we got a submachine gun. We'll keep that. That's fine. I guess. Yeah, we'll. We'll keep. We'll junk these two. We'll keep this one. And. Why would I want this garbage? I don't want no hand cannon. Alright, well there's that I guess. Now let me see. Modules? Yeah. I just want to see, does it share? Okay, so it does share. You can't even change the skin on this, huh, man? Wow. I'm really just not liking this stuff. Uh... Fuck is this a consumables? I 
inventory. Weapons list. Special. Okay. Okay, at least we got that out the way. I just want to just do it like this. There we go. <laughs> I think that's about it. That's all I can fucking do. I guess. Put this in there. Let's continue on. Okay, Bunny, you I see you very excited. Alright, we won't go. The enemy's close. Yeah, while well, you're stomping your good. fucking feet. It seems like Alpha doesn't trust the guide at all. Did anything happen? The RK from the guide felt familiar. That makes me think she's on our side. Oh, what if Alpha can't link to the guide because of RK? He doesn't use his RK abilities much these days. Mm -hmm. Who knows? Let's focus on the operation for now. I'll go scout every nook and cranny in Kingston. And I'll look for that annoying enemy commander as well. I'll leave the Volgus siege to you. They're starting to spread out like they own the place. 
All right. Catch you later. Don't push yourself too hard. Heh. <laughs> you don't get yourself killed like the last time. We'll soon have some decent weapons thanks to some brave veterans. Isn't that great? The Vulcans have established a field power plant in the area. It seems to be linked to the Magister Lab. It must be destroyed. Wait, wait, hold up. Do not shoot at or blow up that power plant unless you want it to explode. You need to detonate the circuits using a high voltage fuse. The construction core captain will show you how to handle this, so listen carefully. Well, breath with. Oh, oh. First up, you need to find the facility managers among the enemy forces. They'll be carrying the fuses. Once you get your hands on them, stick the fuses on the generators. Damn, can you at least put a crouch button? I'm Damn. Running. I was hoping that they could put like at least a crouch button, you know? That'd be something to enjoy. high voltage fuses to parallel circuits. The ones used by the Vulgus are no different. Ah, uh, I think I remember that. And should it come over here? One down. Two down. Damn, I love this rifle. The scout rifle has always been my favorite rifle. Because at least I know how to play like a first person shooter. Unlike some of these clowns, yo. These days, they don't even know how to shoot. Lead the shots. Boom. Yeah, there we go. Take the high ground, I take the low road. Alright. Alright. Piece of cake. Oh. That's how you do it. See that? <clears throat> Got him.
Invading Vulcan forces are establishing positions. We need to clear out the building before they really dig in. Seems like a lot of fun. I'm picking up enemy transmission signals. Be careful. Ah, don't worry. Send it. I've been informed that the Vulcan's transmission system has a very limited range. This means there must be an enemy command center somewhere in Kingston. Whoa, 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 whoa. Time to take the high road. What the hell? Aw, oh, man. I hate that. Yo, they need to really fix that, yo. I hate when free-to-play games always be like, Oh, look, it's so much traversal! No, it's not. Like, if I can't even fucking bolt my ass up there on the top then you know this game that's literally trash what the fuck I'm right here I don't want to kill. Access to the ancestors' facility. Uh, if you can call that authorization, it's not your concern. We've exchanged some harsh words, but I will handle it. I decided oh, come to go on. ahead. I had no choice. This would be so cool if there was like more missions, like you could just go on. Yeah, that's a mess up. If our results at the ancestors' facility are positive, Alpha will change his mind. Which is why I leave it in your capable hands, Descendant. No. This way. Great. is a public operation fuck it let's see what we could do i have to clear up the nest this is the ancestors facility i hope we can find something we can use to restore my system but the vulcus commander has already ordered his troops to extract the data are we too late? The Ancestors' data should not be underestimated. 
Not only does it have immense capacity, it's also quantum encrypted. Even the magisters who worked here doing research have said that full data extraction is impossible. Magisters? Do you mean the technologists who were once allied with the Vulgus? More importantly, the enemy is after the ancestors' data as well. Can anyone think why? Nothing comes to mind. Yeah, this is why it's too long range. Is that this place is somehow connected to the Iron Heart. I'll know once I have the data. Unfortunately, none of the ancestors' data remains in this terminal. I will check the other terminals, but it seems the Vulgus were successful with their extraction. That can't be right. If it were possible to fully extract the data, then the Magisters would have already done it. Until recently, it would have been impossible for the Vulgus as well. However, if they have someone on their side who is very familiar with the Iron Heart, then it will have been achievable. By applying algorithms from the Iron Heart to military applications, mm -hmm. electronic warfare capabilities can be greatly improved. I recommend we investigate the other terminals. Descendant, did you come here looking for me? Or did you come to witness the superior technology of the Vulgus? I am Greg, Commander. Oh, damn, this sniper rifle can move. It is a shame that I am unable to face you directly. <laughs> oh, don't worry, I'll meet you soon enough. Shoot you right between the eyes, just like the rest of your lads. Just like the rest of your luckies. Shit, man. You know what I wish they had? I wish they had some big ass fucking titans. <laughs> I tell you that much. If they had some big ass titans, this is almost gonna be a uh, fucking uh, titan or whatever. Attack on Titan. Like, that'd be pretty cool. Yep. Please stay down. I'm loading. It's always good at a distance. Put the enemy at a distance, put him in bed. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Fucking okay, shoot me. Off guard. Oh. 
This terminal also does not contain the ancestors' data. However, the sentence. Great. I sense the transmission of the ancestors' data is happening close by. That is most likely where the enemy command center is located. Yeah. As the enemy sealed off Kingston's network, uh, transmitting it over a long distance would have been impossible. This means we still have an opportunity to retrieve the ancestors' data. There we go, put him down. All thanks to me. I was hoping like it's gonna be much more deeper lives, man. I was kind of like, oh, okay. All right. Let's go back. Everything is lost. If we hit the enemy command post now, we can still retrieve the data for the guide. Now, did you just say retrieve the data for the guide? All right. Um. Let's see. Huh. If you're gonna go out looking like that, you might as well write your last will and testament before you leave. Before I do that, let me go collect my other shit. Okay. First, we need to figure out... Oh, okay, here's our storage. Since this is our storage, might as well save all the good shit in here. First, let's start off with 18 weapons. Uh, all weapons. Let's go with assault rifle. Oh wait, we gotta unequip our shit too. <laughs> Why 
Now we can't just unequip it. Can't even unequip it. Okay, there we go. All right. Now. Now, let's just store our weapons, because this is how a real gamer plays when well, you got to store some shit. You know, so many years of playing video games, some people still don't know this. So sad. Alright, let's start off with assault rifles on the list. We are going to keep this. Tactical rifles. Hmm. Keeping this, scrap those two. Scout rifle. Mm-hmm. I'll keep in this. That's gonna be scrap. Sniper rifle. Keeping that, scrapping all that. We only got one of those. Scrap, I'm keeping that. Beam rifle, only two. Keeping this, scrapping all that. Submachine gun, we only got that. We'll keep that until we get something better. So we got this, this one, and this. So we're gonna keep this and scrap out those two. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Submachine gun shotguns. Keeping this, scrap it out those two. Can. We'll keep one of those. Fuck it. Pistol. Eh, I'm not missing much of a pistol, so I can get rid of that. Well, I don't give a fuck about pop. Okay, reactors. I don't know what the fuck is reactor that was, but we'll just keep it our weapons there. Oh, okay. Maximum HP home. We'll get this one. This. Mm. Scrap up the rest. So this one. <sighs> Seven.
Oh, it doesn't matter. Well, well, it does. Well, this one doesn't have infusion power, but yes. that over there I think we should be good Okay, we put that in here. Increase health. Oh, okay. Sorry, got that. I don't want to suck punish. Can we customize our character now? No. We still can't. That's the only thing that's retarded about this game. They don't even put, like, at least, like, basic customization. Like, what the fuck? Just give me the basics, yo. Alright. Now, let's go sell the rest of the shit. Then maybe we might purchase a new weapon, or maybe we can get a better outfit. Let's see. Watch it out the way. Keep it so short. Look, man, I'm just here to sell some shit. See what you got. Now you got these subpar reactors. Come on, man, you got some garbage bin shit. Bro, like this is the best you got? These are all trash ass weapons, bro. Is there like a costume shop or something? Oh, the special human child. What do you need? Man. At least, like, give me an option to, like. At least give me an option to, like, at least, like, make a fucking buy some shit. Would you like to access the laboratory? Welcome to the Marshall's lab. Mm. Um. 
Oh, okay. Pants. Okay. Hmm. Oh, I can enhance the weapons too. What the fuck? Oh man, I can't even enhance it. Alright, whatever. Whatever. Fuck it. Mailing this uh, storage. I'm surprised I don't even got customization outfits. Don't do shit. What the fuck? What the hell is this? I'm gonna tell her. No, I'm not. I, I am. I'm not. I am. No, I, I don't know. You're so beautiful, Sharon. Those shiny silver hands. You're a work of art. Okay. I've made up my mind. I'm going to tell Sharon how I feel. But if I'm going to confess my love... Flowers. I need flowers, but where can I, where can I get some? Maybe I don't need flowers. No, no. I read that if you're going to confess your love to someone, you need to bring them flowers. Okay. Uh, I heard from the soldiers that Kingston has beautiful flowers. But how do I get to Kingston? Sneak on a transportation ship? No. It doesn't sound like that. Preparations. Damn, bro, they gotta really lock away some of the cops, medics, and stuff? Man, no. You gotta spend real money for this shit. 
Um, you only get 250 coins? $10? Oh, look, you get 20 extra coins now. Oh, look, if you pay $20, you get a thousand coins. You get a fucking thousand coins. And it's already gonna be gone in like the next couple of minutes from all these 75 fucking coins. $20, you only get a thousand fucking coins. You don't get a 1,060 coins. It's like, uh, God, so garbage. I don't know why it's like highlighted because it's like there's literally no skins. Like, you can't even do shit. Very disappointed in that game. I'm very disappointed. I mean, it's, it's a good game. It's, you could play it and stuff like I'm just disappointed in the customization. They could at least put the basics. Like, put basic customization for people. And then you can add, like, oh, here's some new outfits. Here's some new shit. Here's something you can do. At least trying to make my character unique, you know? All right. All right, so I guess we're gonna be going out on a mission. What do we need to bring? Uh, should I bring an assault rifle? Or this one? Mm. 48 Submachine gun got 26 But it does a little bit more attack damage There's only less rounds though We'll bring a submachine gun instead of the assault rifle. And then of course we gotta bring our nice little rifle that we need. And then last but not least, to add that little extra oomph to it, a little extra punch. I would bring the sniper rifle along with me, but... We're going to do this one. Bring a shotgun, just in case in the middle. Machine gun. Okay, so that's a machine gun. Yeah. I think that's somewhat balanced right there. Alright, so we want this to go first. So this one. First thing on our list. Rifle second, and third, but not least, shotgun. Just that little extra push. Okay. Let's put the module up for this one. We'll do some rapid. And this one. Shotgun. Hmm. Just so I do one of each, because I want to make sure that we're not losing anything, if anything. All right, Let's see what this is on. Oh, okay, so. We can add this in. One 
feel a chill? This operation? All right. Looks like we're good. What's this over here? Hmm. the fuck? Wow, he got the whole arms closing in. Oh, she's fucking transforming. It's over 9,000! <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. All that for an upgrade? And the music sounds so cringe to this shit. Oh my god. This is the... That shit is so fucking cringe. Like, I don't think you need to do all that, but okay. Bro. Uh, I gotta get to level three, and then we gotta go into this arm thing to level up. It's crazy. It was over 9,000. Look at me. I'm good. Hey, you know what? Maybe I should just take a nap here. Like, oh, hey, you know what? Just sit right here for a minute. Uh, underneath this beautiful ass arm. About to fucking crush me and shit. Might as well. That'd be so funny, like, somebody like walk in here and be like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, uh, I guess Rabbit is fucking upgrading and shit. I am the descendant. I am the descendant. All right. Let's go. All right, so we got to upgrade. What is this over here? I see something blue. I don't know what this does now. Oh, now you doing something now? Okay. Alright, whatever. Okay, now we can go to our next mission. I think after this one, then I'll stop. I'll probably play more of it, like, Just during the week. The point. During the week and stuff. Damn. Just how much do you plan to rely on that guide? You prefer to keep sending in the investigative core? Hmm. How much time have we wasted searching for the Iron Hearts without any leads? Alpha, this is the best opportunity we've had in a century. Or it could be a trap. The Descendants are Albion's only hope, and now it's like they have a parasite attached to their minds. Oh shit, wait, the fuck? This way, descendant. This looks so fucking cool. It seems cool. HQ is faltering. I understand. After all, HQ shoulders the burden of protecting humanity. It is difficult for the fate of humanity to be placed into the hands of something only a few can see. 
have a descendant. My purpose is the same as yours. Really, now? Trust me. Do this, and you will retrieve the Iron Heart. How could I trust you, bitch, and you keep disappearing? Shit, Al Aloy would be still right there, bro. What the fuck? Looks like... Damn, bro. It took me away from my mission, bro. God damn. I thought, <laughs> I thought you really work here. Wait. Now, where was the next excavation region? I don't even know. <laughs> I just got here. I'm not that. I, I, I'm descended, but not that descended. Shit. Ah, <laughs> uh, shit. All right, let's go do the next mission or two. There isn't much time. We have to hurry. All right, fine. Descendant. I apologize for my temper. I should also apologize to you, Nell. It no seems the divide between me. our opinions regarding this operation may be too great. I did not authorize the investigation of the Ancestors facility because I trust the guide. My intention was to prevent the Vulgus from accessing the Ancestors data. Which is why, regardless of whether I trust her or not, that data must be retrieved. Bunny has identified a number of Vulgus facilities located in the direction of the Grand Square. If we investigate them, we should be able to track down the location of the Vulgus command center where the data is being held. As for the guide, let's continue that discussion after this operation is concluded. Fair enough. Fine. I'm gonna go here. Mm. All right, fine. I'll be off. Yeah, I'm on my way as a descendant to the Netherlands. All right. I figured we should go with the first one here, I guess. Make sure I come here with empty pockets. This is Ecker, the Signal Core Cyber Intel Unit. We've detected the transmission of a huge number of data packets in this zone, requesting mission approval to intercept them. There should be a Volgus data transmitter nearby. If you can get near to it, I can hack into it remotely and collect the data. Great.
God damn. Not bad. Oh shit. Yeah. Shit. Cause I can't stay in one spot. Good thing you got back up. Appreciate it. Thankfully, since they damaged the network infrastructure, transmission speeds have been extremely slow. That came back to bite them. Okay, I'm gonna reload, get my shit together. That's it. I should be good to go. Okay. Hey, Descendant. I was going through Bunny's recon, and I noticed there was a Volgus battery I haven't seen before. If we can get the specifications and output, I can figure out why they installed it. Connect your receive to the battery storage container. I'll disable the security remotely. Once the battery pack is exposed, put it in the supply box and send it over. Great. That's what I'm talking about. Great. Chill, fuckers. <laughs>
God damn it. I gotta go to B. is just right for operating a command center. So the Vulgus command center is underground. I'll let Bunny know. All right.
Don't worry, the attendant has arrived. So full-scale combat is out of the question for you at the moment. A different descendant will be tasked with the strike on the Vulcus Command Center. Hmm? I wanted to help. Descendant, get the coordinates of the Command Center from Bunny and prepare to attack. Over and out. Oh, you got that. the one to capture the Volgus commander. How infuriating. The operation to retrieve the Ironheart failed and I got injured. Ugh. That leaves a bad taste in my mouth. I should go swap out my weapons and upgrade my modules if I don't want to be defeated again. Guess I'll head back first. Good luck. See you in Albion. Okay. All right, let's begin. Mm. <clears throat> All right. See, we can do this nice and quietly. Got PlayStation player, Vulcus Xbox, and PC. Please destroy it. At that range, I'll be able to intercept the transmission and secure the data. It's imperative we prevent the ancestors' data from falling into Corral's hands. Man, let me show you how a real PlayStation. Let me show you how a real PC player could play. 
Alright, let's see. What the fuck? Okay. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, though. Easy, though. Put you in your place. Ancestors data packets detected. Transmission is taking place close by. We will all be at risk if you do not stop them. Hurry. Good job, good job. Wow, Xbox and PlayStation and PC are finally working together. Ain't that a shit? Damn. Please he focus sounds, on the battle. He sounds like he's gonna be ready for the uh for um what am I call it, Gears of War E Day. He sounds just like one of those locusts. We're gonna be hearing that motherfucker at E Day. <laughs> for real. position. Can't even catch that motherfucker in a distance.
about to say. Somebody was shooting me. Data packet collection. 90% complete. Descendant. I'll look for the final data transmitter. Wait. The location is... <laughs> Descendant. Did you want to stop the data transmission? I have the final transmitter. You will be defeated! <laughs> oh, shut up. Descendant, Damn, Locust. We need to hurry. The data transmission is almost complete. Her down. <laughs> Time to try out Lord Corel's gift to me. This precision bomb. This event die.
shit. Come on. My shield is down. Let's go! Fucking beat that boss! Let's go! Collect our goodies! Time to go back home! Alright, Descendants! Time to go back home! That was a good fight. I gotta say. Good, satisfying fight. Alright, got some nice little goodies. Alright, you know. All right, we got a lot of booty over here, bro. Close it out, bro. Mm -hmm. Oh, everybody's gone now. It's time to go home, Descendant. Woo! Fire. I might have to get rid of some of the clutter on the screen. Shit. If I get rid of it, it'll be a lot better. I have obtained the ancestors' data. With this, I have been able to restore my system. If there are any descendants who can speak to me now, please connect. I would like to speak with you directly. I have vital information. This is Enzo, standing by to upload records to the command console. If there are any descendants able to respond, please speak to the guide. Okay, well, we got our mission over there, but it's time to put away our goodies. Right, let's see what we got today, man. Let's see, let's see what we got. What do we got? Ooh, a lot of goodies. Wow, lot of goodies. All right, so let's, uh... I hate when they do this. Okay, so let's go uh, unequip, unequip all this. Alright. This is what I do. Alright. I just grab everything again, but then I gotta re tread it again. Okay, so now let's go back to tears and see what we're gonna store first. Yeah, assault rifles, let's see. Oh, we got a purple one. That goes into the thing. We're gonna scrap out these two. Boom. 
Yep, got that in our storage. Uh, this is how you organize, you feel me? This is how you do it. Oh, I like that. I'll keep that, definitely. Into my storage, um, in my storage container. And then, ooh, we got a nice one. Okay, purple one? Yes, we're gonna store that in our container. Wait, wait, we don't want that in our container. We just want the ones, that's all. Okay, we got that. Wait, let's go back over here real quick. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Tactical rifles, scout rifles. Sniper rifles. Go and put that. Launch. Okay, we're good with that. Beam rifle. What we got? This, we got these three. No different, so we'll just keep it one. We'll just get rid of all three of them because we don't need a lot of that. We'll keep this one. Submachine gun. We only got one. That's fine. Shotgun. Okay, we're going to keep this one right here. Okay, and then we're going to keep this one, not this one. Two of the same one, so it doesn't matter. So we'll just keep that one. So that one. I do not like handgun. That's. I could sell all that shit because I don't care about handguns. All right. Now. Okay. Now we got. Now we're talking, bro. Now we're talking. Okay, what we should do, keep all the purple ones in here. That's what we should do. So next we go to reactors. And then we'll, we'll go in here. We want nine. We'll keep in this one, this one, this one, and this one. The rest we can sell. Uh, do, 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 wow. Okay, this one. Let's see what we got here. Okay, we got a better one. We'll pull this one. Oh, get that one. Got this one better. Yes, and we got this one a hell of a lot better. So we can sell all that. Will come. All right, let's go to storage. Let's see reactors.
We'll take this one. We'll keep those two. We'll keep those three. Okay, now we can go in here. And we'll exchange this one for this one. There we go. Alright, so now we're set with that. So now we can sell the rest. Time to sell the rest. It's time to sell the rest. Okay. This one is easy. Damn, bro, you can't even do anything. If it's about weapons, you come and talk to me. And you don't, you still ain't got shit? Bro, I am so disappointed by this. You ain't got shit. But at least I can sell all these useless ass items. Might as well stack up my gold. Really? Stack up the gold. Get rid of some of these guys looking. Okay. okay. Yo, with all this fucking gold, they need to fucking put in a costume shop, yo. Like, it's so stupid. Like, got all this damn gold, and it's like, you can't even purchase anything. You have to buy real world money. It's like, come on, bro. At least let me exchange the gold for, like, some sort of, like, purple credit or something like that. You feel me? At least, like, say, okay, 100, 100, whatever, I can, you know, exchange it for something else, you know? Or buy some actual, like, fucking costumes. Maybe I should, like, use this as a, um... I should, uh, use this as a, uh... As a background. I'm going to use that as a thumbnail. So. If you see me about to do a thumbnail, I'm sorry, but I'm about to use that as a thumbnail. Uh, options. Just put this display. Uh, turn off the sharpness a little bit for your view.
man, you can't even do a thumbnail. I wish they had like console commands, like I could just like whatever, but I probably can't even do that. But I'll try to just take a thumbnail like this. Might as well. Might as well try. It look weird, but hey, it's whatever. Hopefully that will take it. I'm not sure. Uh, if not, then I'll probably just hold it still. And just kind of screenshot it, if anything. Okay. I think that's good right there. Wee. Maybe I should take a screenshot over here too. I don't think they, they don't even have photo mode. I don't know why they don't have any type of photo mode whatsoever, but they should have a photo mode. I wish they did had a photo mode. It just, it needs a photo mode. Unless I, you know what I'll do? I'll just try to change my field of view for right now. Maybe that's why. Let me see, we'll go to display. I mean, it looks weird, but hey, I can just... I don't like it like that, but it's alright. That should be good. I'll set it like this. Maybe do an emote too while I'm at it. Then that's about it. I already got that. Now I can use that as my thumbnail. <laughs> all right. So let's let's talk about this game real quick. All right. So let me go to a more uh, secluded area. Let me see. Let's 
Oh, okay. So it does hide it. Oh, wow. Look at this. It does fucking hide it. That's fucking cool. That makes it so much cleaner, yo. See, now I can take the now I can take uh the thing for it, you know, for a thumbnail. So let me just do that again. It. Now I can take an actual like thumbnail for it, you know. Now I can take an actual thumbnail. Let me just put it nice and still. Alright, right there. That should be good. Okay, so now we got our thumbnail. Let's just sit down, talk about the game real quick, right? And actually, you know what? Before I do that, let me uh, put that music down. Before I start talking or shit, because I don't want the the music to get in my way. All right. Okay. Yeah, let's talk about this. All right, so the first descendant. All right, my thoughts about this game. I'll put it like this. You know, I'll, I'll put it like this. All right, so so what I play so far is okay. Is pretty good. I will say this is better than Destiny. Okay, Destiny. When I play that game, it's. Like, when it first came out, it was trying to be like Halo, I was feeling it. And then it lost me with some of the mission stuff, the structures, the... Like, how it first launched, and I stopped playing the game, and then I tried to come back. It was getting good, and then I kind of just fell off. I was just like, whatever. Destiny 2 rolls around, not feeling it. I didn't care about it. I just like, look, all the devs are gone. They're not even there anymore, so it's like, what is the point of, you know, with Destiny 2? So I just gave up on that, and I didn't really care because they only going to do the whole multiplayer aspect. Even though they had a campaign for it, I was just like, ah, I'm done. You know, I'm just, I'm just done with Destiny, so I just like, I just didn't care. So now... You know, fast forward, I'm not really into this whole, like, free-to-play shooter, stuff like that, right? I'm not really into that. Uh, you know, I like more third-person, no, well, not third-person, but I like more first-person shooters than I do in third-person. Uh, however, I still enjoyed the game. I had a pretty good time. It's not bad. The only gripes that I have with this is the fact that, you know, again, if you're going to put a uh you know like a free to play style game at least let us curate the character you know like i'm not saying it has to be so in depth but at least like give us at least like costume you know like the free stuff that i could say oh do i want my character to have glasses could i change the hairstyle could i you know make my female a little bit more darker tanner something like that like if you could do that, I think that would be a much appreciative. But for what it is, it is what it is. It's just only cosmetic. But I would really like that. So in that department, they deserve an F for that because they failed in that department. Because there's like basically like every descendant is going to look like me or is going to be the same character because nobody's not really spending money into, you know, whatever characters and stuff like that so far. 
in terms of the gameplay, it's pretty solid. I mean, the performance is solid. I know it's not perfect. And I know that, you know, some performances may do well at others on consoles than it is on PC. That's why you got to wait for patches and stuff like that. So it doesn't really matter whether you're playing it on Xbox or PlayStation or even on PC. The performance is solid. I got to say, it is not like the disaster debacle how it was all the way back in the first Destiny game. This is a lot more better, like way more stable, much more playable. Maybe when it first launched, when the first descended, it may not be like that, but for for this free to play title game i'm actually really liking this it's pretty good it's solid in terms of shooting um the story the characters so far the the characters that we see right here and also the npcs you know with the other side characters and stuff like that um voice acting dialogue is solid i don't have no complaints about it story you know, I'm a little bit intrigued. I wouldn't say it's a slam is a slam dunk, but I think it's a lot better and somewhat less confusing than Destiny. At least this one is a little bit more streamlined, straightforward. We know, and I think they improve upon even in Destiny in terms of like, you know, matchmaking, the online thing, like again, going into matches bosses dungeons and stuff like that gathering loot and stuff like that i think those are all thumbs up um i know they got this whole um free to play thing and battle pass i don't care about battle passes i really don't care about the you know giving out money and stuff like that um again i personally for me you know if i'm going to pay for a game like you know, especially if this was a free-to-play game, I was expecting, like, again, um, able to customize my character, make her look unique and different and distinct. Maybe I might consider saying, okay, I'll throw you a few dollars here. I might throw you. But since they didn't do that, I'm not throwing out any money whatsoever. They, I think they, they still got to earn my keep and earn my trust. And, again, a little bit of stuff in the option settings and stuff like that a bit wonky like again we're missing sort of things until we like honestly figure shit out so let's see let's go into you know like um again i i don't mind the ui is pretty straightforward and stuff like that um you know all this stuff is pretty cool um again there's certain things that are still locked i will like to see um to be some explanations and stuff like that you know so i would like to see that and plus it's like again we only see this type of a map i mean this feels like destiny um the the other thing too i i really am a little bit disappointed is the fact that they don't have like home hubs or something like that for the descendant it's just basically like run to this mission here go to this little uh, storage box and all that stuff. I will like to see, you know, a missed opportunity was like all of this right here in the hub to be like kind of like a home center, like, you know, like where it has certain levels and floors of like shopping and stuff like that. Again, we accumulate all of this fucking gold, right? Like I got a hundred and something gold. Let me do something with it. Like at least let me use it to buy regular cosmetic items. That would be a plus and good you know like i'm not saying like it has to take away from you know again the battle pass stuff but just give us like some basic cosmetic stuff all the cool stuff and everything else you know like whatever fancy stuff you know save that for the battle pass but like at least put basic you know costumes and stuff like that nothing crazy but just something basic that we if we have all the this fucking gold that we have at least let me spin it on that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that'd be great. Um, because, again, that it just, it just makes it so much better. It's just like, again, it, I was a little bit disappointed by that. Um, it wouldn't, it wouldn't take away, it wouldn't hurt. Like, again, like, you know, if I'm starting the game up, you know, again, I'm expecting customization to be like, you know, again, buying basic stuff. Like, there should be some free stuff 
here, like basic stuff. And then all of the cool costumes, like, you know, again, this will entice people say, okay, I'll give the battle pass a try. But since they said, no, this is all you get is all locked away. You got to buy our battle pass. It's just a turn off. You know, if they had that in the game, again, like, you know, where there's like certain levels and floors within this hub and say, oh, here's a shopping thing. So if you got all this extra gold and stuff, you can buy a room for yourself. You can buy cosmetic stuff for your character, like maybe, again, changing this, that, skin color, you know, all the basic stuff should be in the game. But also on top of it, like just regular outfits and stuff like that, you know, stuff that should have been in the game. And then, and then like, it's, again, the battle pass tier stuff should be something that you can unlock, earn, stuff like that, if you want to buy it and stuff. And then later on, like, you know, have that to kind of like maybe put a few of those outfits or items in in the regular, just the, the cosmetic stuff. So even if they didn't purchase it, but it still be in the cosmetic stuff, so at least that maybe there might be a chance of, oh, maybe I might get this type of hairstyle, I might get this type, you know, at least one, two of them or three at least, like at least three out of the six to say, oh yeah, it's down, it's down in the hub. Um, you can get this, this, whatever, and that cool. The, you know, I'm happy with that, you know? And I think that wouldn't be an issue because at least like, at least the gold is being spent on something. You know what I'm saying? I mean, even if I have to respin it again to get like the same hair color or the same, whatever, that's fine. Cause at least I'm still earning gold on these missions anyway so it just gives me a reason to grind and do stuff and save a goal get a better hub uh, like a bigger hub section maybe i don't want a small apartment i want a bigger apartment hub um i was thinking something like that along the lines um what else you know again like name cards again that could be a missed opportunity right there could have been down at the store if i wanted uh different tags name hubs like some customization stuff like i already got gold earned in the game i can spin on that it's already it's like basic stuff i can get and you know put on my character and then the battle pass should be some stuff that you can really say okay if i get this battle pass i can earn all of these extra cool little stuff for my character stuff like that that's cool you know what i'm saying i think if they do it that way It'll, it'll get people to come in and play the game and enjoy themselves, but but right now I'm just I'm just not feeling this, yo. It's just what the hell? It's such a missed opportunity. Like again, like look at this skin. You can't. You don't even have any skin. Like I can't even make her skin color a little bit darker. Can't change the hair color. Can't change the eyes. Like come on. Like even Black Desert Online allows you to do basic customization and basic outfit stuff it doesn't have to be crazy but at least they gave us the basic stuff they gave us a handful of stuff and and you know like hair stuff this stuff i was expecting for first descendant to do that but they didn't do that they failed in that so i uh, hopefully maybe in the future they might do something with that but we'll wait to see because honestly they want to sit here and say oh you want me to cough out twenty dollars i'm like look I'm not coughing up twenty dollars unless I can change my character right from the beginning. If you give, if you say, "Here's here's a handful of outfits. Here's a shop downstairs. If you want to buy other stuff and other stuff, here's all this stuff." Cool. Then I'll get the battle pass because then I might say, "Okay, I want to unlock these cool little weapons. I want to unlock this skin. I want to unlock that." You know, right when I'm playing the fucking game, you know. Like, that's what I want to do, you know, like play the game, you know, unlock stuff and, you know, do stuff and shit, right? You know, and it's just, it just kind of sucks, you know, just kind of sucks. At least this is still a long period of time. So it's just like, okay, cool. Um, again, the microtransactions is fine. You know, it's just your typical stuff. But again, like again, look at this, like locking away this type of stuff. Like again, just give us basic stuff. You don't have to give us crazy stuff, basic stuff, just basic things. Like again, like um, like again, makeup, give us some hairstyle and, and a few, a couple of those for free. 
I don't know why it has to be locked in behind here for 50 fucking whatever the fuck this is. And I got all this gold, I got that, and I got zero for that. So how am I going to earn that? Now I got to buy real world fucking money for it. It's just ridiculous. At least give us something that's worth a damn. Like, look at this. You know, they want me to cough up $5 and I get... 250 but they're not going to be like what so they're not going to be like oh i gotta get makeup that's 50 that's done and then i'm going to get one of these that's 125 you know if i want a costume or something like that or whatever that's 75 you know like jesus fucking christ at least give us like basic ones like just basic generic ones not like these but just give us like regular costumes or something we can go in the hub and buy stuff just regular shit and to save this for like battle pass type shit you know that's what i'm fucking saying like this doesn't even make any sense like putting this on on a on a character and stuff it's just a waste i'm like why this doesn't it doesn't make me want to get any of the battle pass or enhancements or whatever. Earn boot boost, gold boost, thirty percent. Like it doesn't make any sense. I got a shit ton of gold. Shit. You know. And you still gotta pay real world money for that shit. That shit is so retarded. Because I'm like, I got all this gold. What the fuck I'm gonna do with it? There's nothing here that I can do with this fucking gold. So it's it's kind of a, a missed opportunity for that. It definitely is. Again, it's only a free-to-play game, so I can't really complain. So if they want to go down this road, I'll let them go down this road. So other than that, the weapons, inventory, guns feels pretty much solid. The only thing I don't like is the movement. The movement, how when she does like these like barrel rolls and stuff like that and it's i think that that needs to tone down quite a bit because honestly you can almost barrel roll out of the fucking the 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 scene i think put that distance a bit shorter hopefully in the next patch or update put that a little bit shorter you don't need like a big giant fucking roll like like you're almost rolling like almost like damn near 35 feet away it's like ridiculous it's like you know yes like these first descendants you know whatever you know they got some some type of power but i would not expect them to roll like 30 fucking feet away they should be rolling between like maybe like 20 feet away 20 you know 20 feet away not 30 35 40 feet away you know it was like ridiculous i was like what the fuck at least give me enough of a role but not overdoing a, a, a fucking role the second thing that's a problem is fucking the lack of a crouch i don't understand why this game is a free-to-play game and you don't even have a crouch that should be in this game period it should be even toggle with the the role thing like if i'm gonna hold b you know tap b to like do do a roll then i should be able to say okay if i want to hold on b for crouch or if i want to tap or i want to switch it between tapping crouch and then if i hold if i hold it if i hold b then it'll do a roll that's what i i want as well i don't know why they don't have a crouch it, they should have a crouch in this game Especially if you're a snipe, if you have a sniper rifle, you have an assault rifle, you're shooting from a distance. A lot of people should, you know, well, in in video games, if you crouch, then standing up, you have a better chance of aiming better when you're crouching. So I don't know why they don't have a crouch, which they should, because if you can do a roll off the side, roll back in, then you should be able to have a crouch to like kind of take cover and like long distance sniping ranges like you know taking those shots moving up reloading you know and having a better aim and i think it's would be a good balance and a good challenge because of the fact that you know you are vulnerable when you're crouching but but maybe it will improve your aim and your steady aim from a long distance so if there was like a boss this giant boss whatever have these like you know, I think the last, what, the last boss fight, they have these, like, big-ass fucking, like, protection, like, you know, 
a, a shield protection and we got to shoot these balls, whatever, right? That's protecting him. This is where if I had a sniper rifle, then I would have went back in a longer distance, shot from a distance, try to get an aim, get a good sight, maybe have my teammates to kind of draw them out in the open and I could, I could, you know, crouch, take my aim, boom, 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 move out the way, find a different position and another high point, you know, looking down, boom, boom, boom. But again, I still be vulnerable because again, I'm in crouch. So if an enemy comes by, they might hit me, knock me over, take a swipe. I might be down or I might get killed. I think that would be a good trade-off right there. And it will be a pretty much of a good, a good like kind of like challenge and fight right there, you know, between long distances and short distances, and especially when you have sniper rifles. It just makes sense. So the lack of a crouch button is also a problem. The movement is a problem. They need to tone that back. Um, and again, the UI, everything else, and the characters are fucking great. I'm, I like all the characters, what I meant so far. The dialogue, the cutscenes, and stuff like that is solid. It's doable. I think is as I, I will put it like this. This, right, if this was Destiny 2, if this was Destiny 2 was like this well built, then I might invest in myself in playing in Destiny 2. But Destiny was a fucking disaster. And plus the first one was even garbage with the whole raid and this and shards and all this bullshit. It was a complete and utter fucking mess. However, this game definitely approved that shit a mo- like it's so much better. It is so much enjoyable to play, much more easier on the eyes, especially for the female characters looking good. Thank you. I appreciate that. I don't want to play as a ugly fat bitch from Concord. Like I don't want to look at that. I, I it's not no. I like this. Good. It's easy on the eyes, okay? Damn, you know, sometimes I want women to strive to be looking good. Just like this. Every day when I get up in the morning, you know, and I, you know, want to enjoy my day, I strive to look good. I don't strive to look like a dirty, raggedy ass dude. That looks like a bum and it smells like shit. I'm not like that. I want to strive to look good. I want to, you know, and women in his, it should be encouraging that. Look how she look good. She looking good on the screen. She ain't saying no stupid shit. She fighting for a cause. That's how women should be striving for it. Just the same way for men. Men should be striving for that too. I don't understand. But, however, that's a plus. Appreciate that. So... Mm. everything else, I mean, like, again, that's the battle pass, they got that whole thing, free to play, because it's a free to play game, inventory is pretty good, I mean, they could fix on a little bit of things, like, you know, like, again, if I'm gonna have junk and stuff like that, I was expecting, like, it's gonna be the auto thing, but you have to go to get rid of it and stuff like that, which is good, and at least we have a storage thing that's a plus, but I would like to spend that goal into like getting a hub or apartment and then I can store my items in there, you know, the same way, like how a MMO, like again, with Black Desert Online, you know, where they have that, where you could purchase a house, a cabin or something, and you can like put items in there, do stuff. That'd be pretty cool. Like, again, I got like this many gold. That could be a way of spending some of that gold into like things like, upgrading your house, upgrading certain things, you know, again, adding, like, again, storage in your room, that's cool, um, putting in basic cosmetic stuff, nothing crazy, like, more fancier outfits and stuff like that, save it in a battle pass, but at least put basic stuff cosmetic-wise, like, changing, like, hairstyle, the skin tone of your character, outfits, at least a few basic outfits, doesn't have to be crazy outfits, but like I said, just basic stuff, simple stuff. Allow us to change the color of it. Allow us to do stuff. And then then you and if you do that, then it's going to make me say, okay, then I can invest in the battle pass. Because at least they're giving us some basic cosmetic stuff that I could change my character right then and there in the world. I don't have to be like, oh, well, you know what I'm saying? Like you're making people grind in the game right off the bat just so they can change one character of her fucking face or just 
saying, oh, I got to add this bit of outfit. Well, that's cost $5. You got to pay us $5. It's just ridiculous. Um, so they deserve an F for that. So nah, other than that, it's it's pretty good, pretty, pretty well. I, I'm going to continue playing the game, so... I don't think I can. I don't think I'm going to uninstall it. I can still play this game. It's not bad. It's not bad. I will say it's definitely is an improvement from Destiny Two. That's for damn sure. It's an improvement in terms of. I would not say in in the shooting department. Maybe not the shooting department because a lot of people might say, "Well, Destiny's good at shooting and stuff. It's a good shooter." And blah blah blah. Like, okay, fine. You got you. You know, there's some criticism on that one. I'm just saying in terms of how everything like display the characters, this, that, I feel like I am more invested in this world and this universe than I would be invested in Destiny, if that makes any sense. Um, like the the presentation of it, like the presentation of this game, I'm loving it. I think it's really good. They it's solid. Few little things they could improve with issues and stuff like that, but other than that. Yeah, I can see myself like maybe coming to this game, playing it for, you know, whatever. I don't even have to purchase anything. I'm just going to play the game just to have fun. That's it. Like, you know, maybe when when they start to put in like cos like basic cosmetic stuff and and stuff, when they introduce that in the game, then I might say, "Okay, fine. I'll throw you a few dollars here. I'll buy a few costumes here if you do that." But if they're not doing it, I'm not paying for nothing. I'm sorry. But I think that's about it. Yeah, so gunplay, magic, abilities, solid. I got no issues. So other than that, it's it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I I I can recommend um if you want to just come jump in and play, it's, it's it's solid. Like I didn't have no issues and stuff. I might see some frame dips and stuff like that, but it's not a big fucking deal for me. I mean, even though I play in on PC, it's not a big deal. It should not be because it's only like little frame dips here and there, little hitches here and there. But it didn't got in in the way of me enjoying the game and still playing the game. It's it's solid. It's pretty good. It just does what it needs to do. Those are just my thoughts and my opinion. But uh, let me know what you guys think about it. But I'm going to continue playing this game. Let me know if you want to see me continue keep playing this game. I will. But until next time, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.